Welcome, Cancer, to your numerology reading for October. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with your numerology. Coming out, we have number 16, breaking down to 7, Rebirth. Nice. And we have number 13 coming out, breaking down to 4 for effort. We see the happiness within the effort over here, though, with the three. So it's keeping it very harmonious um, with this effort that you're doing. So make sure that you're staying as optimistic as possible um, when doing so. To really bring in this rebirth, because Spirit is saying 16, right? One, six, sevens, if you're seeing these things, right? This is because you're getting ready to have this rebirth, this transformation, because of all the effort that you've been putting in. So you're going to get ready for a cycle change here pretty quick. And this is your higher self, making sure that you are listening to your higher self and allowing your higher self to be a part of everything that you're doing, right? Using that intuition as a part of that higher self. Taking steps over here, number four. Now, this is, this is interesting because this card here is four and this equals four. So it's talking about that stability, right? It's talking about staying stable, taking those steps, knowing your foundations and knowing what you're doing. Um, to take these steps. And then you have progress over here. This is all about making that progress. Spirit is saying you are making this progress. I see the effort that you're putting in through the steps that you're doing. Just make sure that you're continuing to do so. Um, and it really does feel with the harmony over there for the overall um, process and progress. So with the progress it's talking about, it says you have been in a process of great change, self-growth, and healing. There's that rebirth coming through, right? You're saying I'm already in this cycle change, but I want the complete cycle change, right? Because I am seeing my higher self. There's that self-growth and healing. Um, it is important to maintain a good relationship with yourself. Okay. If you find that you are in a rut or starting to experience a downward spiral, consider closing your eyes and taking a deep breath. Imagine you are opening your eyes for the first time and seeing the world around you different from what your perspective tells you it is. What is the pleasurable things that are around you? If you can see nature, what beauty can you find? Encourage yourself not to take anything for granted. What a wonderful life you have been given. If needed, make a list of the values and ethics. Now that's where I'm talking about bringing in that happiness with the three making sure that you're keeping yourself optimistic. If things start getting a little hectic because the steps that you're taking seem a little rough, a little hard, of course they are, right? Everything we do in life, there's going to be rough steps, right? She's going to try to get up these stairs in this huge dress. <laughs> and you know she's wearing heels. Okay, are they six-inch heels? Are you guys wearing six-inch heels? Do you feel like you're going to walk up these steps? And, and then look at, look at this. Look at the way the, uh, the ground is over there. You know... Come on, women, we're in six inch heels and we're going down that stony path. Man, better hope we don't hit the crack right between the two stones because that's going to make us trip. It's going to make us fall. It's going to make, you know what's going to happen. Ankle's going to go, right? And that's where that's going to feel like what? You're in a rut. So that's where the happiness, start thinking about what you're doing and how you're developing it. And remember, what am I doing this process for? What was the ultimate goal? See, when we're, Sometimes we forget what our ultimate goal was when things start getting too tough. So make sure that you remember that so that you have the transformation that you're looking for. And that's where the higher self is really going to come into play over here. Saying you can do it. Hey, you know what? If, if it seems too rough, just bend down, take the heel off, right? Don't try to struggle. Just take it off. You know what? Take off the heels. Run barefooted. Right? Because now you're out of the, the rut. <clears throat> right? So, yeah, there's ways around things. Just think about how we're going to do it with the extra effort. And for men, you ain't wearing heels. So, 
um, you know, that's just going to be you walking in the mud, you know, don't get your shoes muddy. Okay. You know how that is. Oh man. So, you know, you're just going to want to jump, leap, and do the things that you're going to want to do to make sure that you don't get your shoes dirty, right? You don't want to walk in that palace with muddy shoes on. Okay. Yeah, see, there it is. Because of the overall determination, that's what it's talking about right there, right? When the going gets rough, I'm going to get going. I will figure it out. One way or another. If I break my leg trying to walk over here through this, or if I get my shoes dirty walking through this, screw them shoes, I'll take them off, and I will limp in there. If I break my leg, I'm limping, right? Because I'm determined to get this done, right, with great effort. So nothing's going to back you down. Making sure because you're using your intuition, there's your higher self again coming out as the Queen of Cups, saying because you're using the intuition, you can already see deep within the cup what is it I need. Not forgetting the overall reasons. Because sometimes we do. Things get start getting rough and it's like, why am I even doing this? Screw this. I don't want to do this anymore. No, because there is a light at the end of the tunnel that you're trying to get through. And that's the rebirth. Go strong. Even if you feel like you're the thief in the night with the seven of swords, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, right? Because the opportunity outweighs the rut that you're in. That's where the ultimate strength is going to come in. And you can see it with the page of swords. You're saying, I can see this. And I'm learning along the way. Right, because it's, the page of swords is okay. Because now I'm observing the situation. I'm seeing what's going on. I can see down this path, and I see that this is going to start being a bumpy road as soon as I get up these steps. Right. So you're seeing it, you're observing it, and you're saying, okay, that's fine, that's fine. So I will learn. Right. And if you didn't learn the first one, maybe there's another set of stairs and another path just like that one. Then you'll say, okay, well now I'm going to take my shoes off. Right? Because I've learned from the first one and I'm not going to go break my ankle again. So sometimes in this process, we do run into the same bump twice. Um, it might even be a little bit different, right? Maybe that's where the mud actually is coming in, right? First it's bumpy, now it's muddy, you know? With the muddy waters going on over here. But it's okay. And Spirit is telling you with the temperance over here, you're being guarded, you're being watched with the temperance. The temperance is a spiritual card saying your guardian angel is watching you. You have this. Keep the harmony and the peace with, within yourself. Keep the effort and the progress going because after the stony stones and the muddy mud, there's going to be this beautiful rebirth that is so worth it. And this is saying I'm, you're completely protected as well. So having the patience, keeping the harmony, keeping the peace, keep the effort going. Wow. Keep your loyalties to yourself. Keep traveling with loyalties, right? Because you're going to stay loyal to yourself, right? Along this, this uh, journey that you're on for your ultimate dream. And the progressing is to have the dream come true, which is the star card saying you got to your goal. Was it easy? No, this doesn't seem like a very easy road that you're taking right here, but it seems essential. It seems like this is the way it has to be. There's no other way around it. You know it. Your spirit guide knows it. God knows it. Your higher self knows it. Everybody knows it. But that's the way it has to be. And so you're going to take this challenge. And boy, is it a challenge. And you know it's a challenge because you've been juggling this thought for a while. You're saying, hey, you know what? This was this is one of those things that I've been juggling in the air for a while because I know that what I'm trying to do is a goal for the star card, whatever it is. Whether it's going to college, getting a, it could even be for the most popular person in school. I don't know, right? The person who's won your heart, maybe you have to juggle on doing things to get this person's attention, however it is. It's something you've been juggling and you know it wasn't easy. Wow. And you've been manifesting it and, you know, you're just, I feel like there's this, this thing that's saying, I know this is the hardest thing that I've done in a long time and it's going to take a lot of vitality and a lot of intentions with a magician. But as soon as everything works out, it's going to feel really magical. Right? Because I've done all of this. And that's because of all the effort that you've done. 
bringing the manifestation to life, but it wasn't just a manifestation of just please, please, please let this happen, right? No, no, no. You put a lot of work into it. You manifested to get it going, and it's more like you're manifesting that it works out, and as you're doing so, you're taking action to get there because you actually have to take the steps to do so, right? So, yeah. So you're just, it's more like manifesting that everything works out in your favor um, is really what's happening, and it's saying it is working out in your favor as long as every time you fall, Make sure that you dust yourself off. Give it everything you got. Try to keep the harmony and say, well, shit, I fell. It's okay, though. I'm going to keep going, right? And that's how you're going to, that's how you're going to get through this, right? It could be something, maybe you guys are, some of you are trying to stop drinking, right? You fall off the wagon. You're like, screw it. I'm going to keep going strong, right? So however it is, the only reason I say that is because I see the cups here. It, but it's okay because you're putting forth the effort and you're trying your darned hardest over here, right? And so you're rewarded for that. And spirit really wants you to understand you are being rewarded. Look at the six, the four, keeping the stability and keeping yourself grounded with four. <clears throat> so your soul wants you to know, I can only imagine, the first thing I hear when I said that was how awesome you are <laughs> for taking on such a challenge. Um, I don't think we have an awesome card, but I, you know, I say it anyways, I say what I hear and I hear how awesome you are. So keep that in mind and always remember that, right? Yeah. Stay within the flow. Here we go. Here we go. Stay with the flow. The glory of the universe flows through me. Remember going with the flow doesn't mean pushing. Remember, cause we need patience for the effort because we're pushing but we can only push so far, right? So we have to allow it to kind of unfold on its own, right? So, it, because if you are over pushing, that's probably when you're gonna stumble and fall, right? So you don't wanna over push things. Allow it to go like a wave, right? The wave comes in, it pulls back to the beach, and then it goes back out again. And therefore, that's exactly what you're doing. Yeah, you're doing it with a lot of effort, right? So you're definitely rolling over here, making some, tubular waves over here, right? Okay, so, and this is the enthusiasm. The enthusiasm is I celebrate everything in my life and I live in the limitless journey and joy. Why? Because if you don't have the enthusiasm of knowing what's around the corner through this process, that's where you could feel like, the hell am I doing this for? It's too rough. Why would I want to do this? I keep breaking my ankle. I keep getting my shoes muddy. I keep doing this. I keep doing that. No, no. You keep saying no because... Where toughness is, lies great rewards. That's right. That's right. Okay? So make sure that you keep well, keep yourself focused. All of my thoughts are directed towards my highest good, and that's exactly what it is. So making sure that you keep focused, and the truth is I live in my truth. Always live in your truth, because you know the truth, and the truth was that. I'm putting in a lot of hard work, and there's great things around the corner. That is the ultimate truth. And the truth is, I got this. I can do this as long as I stay focused and I keep my patience and don't, like I said, don't travel too, too hard, right? You don't need to be running. There's no reason to run. You just go with the flow because it'll be easier and it'll be over before you know it. Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.